John Eats Cheap Pantry Freezer Project did a freezer dive, found some wings for Mrs. Cheap and a pound of gizzards for moi. Mrs. Cheap doesn't care for gizzards much, so I got those out, thawed out, ready to go. First, we'll get Mrs. Cheap's wings ready. You know what? I'm going to spray them first. Just a little canola oil spray. And she has chosen for her seasoning tonight of the many options. This is from Penzi's Mrs. Muskogee. It is so good. It's, it's not overly salty. It is peppery and a little lemony, Mrs. Cheap. It's not real strong, but boy, is it great flavor. It's great on chicken and fish. And we like doing it on, on wings and fish. So I'm going to season these up. Flip them, get the other side. I'm going to flip them onto the grate. We're going to air fry these. Air fryer is so great for chicken wings. It really is. Gets them nice and crispy. I did pat these dry. Try and get the moisture off. And these will go in the air fryer. I think I usually I do them at uh, 370, usually for about 15 minutes. I check them if they look like they're ready to be flipped. I flip them. So let's, oh, I got to spray this side too, don't I? Just helps get it a little crispy and so it won't stick when you flip it. Got to wash my hands. All right, so there's the chicken gizzard. Now, the problem with chicken gizzards are they're a, a really working organ. They're really tough. They're tasty, but they're tough. And I don't mind eating them tough. They're just really chewy. But Mrs. Cheap found this great contraption. It's a tenderizer. And this isn't, you know, instead of like pounding it with a mallet, this one is like uh, these spikes come out. To pierce it and this is what I use to tenderize now for like chicken fried steak and gizzards it makes it a lot easier so I'm just gonna get a bunch of gizzards out here and we're just gonna tenderize these want to get them flattened out and All right, so we're done tenderizing. And if you zoom in, you can kind of see the, you know, it's kind of like tenderized pork or beef. You see those, just helps it, you know, chew a little easier. So now we got to make our breading, which I just have some all-purpose flour. I'm going to add a big old heaping spoonful, a little bit more of cornstarch. Just kind of mix that around. And I'm going to add in lots of salt and lots of pepper. Just kosher salt and black pepper. I need a lot of black pepper and I don't want to hold the pepper grinder for a long time. So I'm just dumping it in there. All right. So this is our breading, and it's also what we are going to add some, some of this flour to. Because I have two eggs and about a quarter of a cup of water here. I'm just going to whisk this up. And I'm going to add some of this breading mixture. Just like that. Whisk that all together and make like a thick batter. So here's the process. Gizzards. I'm going to put a bunch of them into my mixture here, my batter. They just need to get good and coated. Well, I'm just going to put them all in there. Good and coated with that kind of a batter. It's not a full thick batter. But then we're going to go into our flour, seasoned flour and cornstarch that's all ready. You can do this in a bag if you want. Get it good and coated. And on to the plate. Getting ready to fry. 
So the gizzards are all breaded up. I'm heating up the oil and getting ready to fry some chicken gizzards. So I'm doing two batches of the gizzards. First batch is in, frying up nicely. Got six minutes to go on the wings before we flip them. By the way, the cheap household has been hit with a, an appliance emergency. Our dishwasher is not emptying. I know I need to check the filter or something. I kind of rooted around and tried to check a little bit, but it's not emptying water. So uh, until we get that done, we're, I don't like doing dishes by hand. I don't <laughs> mind pots and pans, but plates and silverware is ridiculous. So we're going to finger foods and paper plates. There we are, both out of the freezer. Wings for Mrs. Cheap, gizzards for me. I got a few more cooking, so I can have them for lunch tomorrow too. That's it. Another freezer project. All freezer today with Johnny's Cheap, and it's tasty.